Alicia here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Uh, I just want to take a, make a quick shout out to my old subscribers, my new subscribers. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment. I like to read them. Uh, so today I am doing... Uh, a series that I started called The Lesson, and this is for Divine Feminine. So this is the lesson from an experience with someone, something, a place, an environment. Um, so this is just what you were supposed to learn from it, along with guidance from spirit. So today I am doing the sign of Libra. So this is for the Divine Feminines that are Librarian, Librarian, is that a word? That are Libra, okay? <laughs> Spirit, thank you for your messages. So I'm gonna jump right in and get to the point. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. So um, the spread is, I am reading with the, the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra and Taylor, and I'm clarifying with Dreams of Gaia Tarot Deck. So uh, the first row, the row to my left, is going to be the situation. And the second row is what the lesson was. And the third row on my right is the advice from Spirit. Okay, Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I understand. Spirit, what happened in the past with Divine Feminine, the Libra Divine Feminine? Patience. Spirit, what was the lesson from this experience for the Libra Divine Feminine? Thank you for your message, Spirit. Cornucopia. And what is your guidance to go along with this message, Spirit? Thank you. What is your guidance for Libra Divine Feminine? We have attachment. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. Please clarify patience. We have seven of air in reverse. Oh. I'm going to shuffle these again. Too many cards, too many cards. Spirit, please clarify. Seven of air in reverse. We have six chakra archangel Metatron in reverse. didn't even get to ask the question yet okay we have ten of earth spirit please clarify ten of earth a victory in reverse Please clarify cornucopia. We have two of water in reverse. Spirit, please clarify two of water in reverse. Thank you.
have man holding a heart in reverse. Hmm. We have seven of water. And we have door to spirit in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify attachment. I know some people don't like all the shuffling, but I want to get them good. The message is good. We have self. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify self. We have Goddess of the Moon. Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify, Goddess of the Moon. We have thinking in reverse. Thinking knowledge. It's also known as the knowledge card. okay my divine feminines my Libra divine feminines what is going on okay divine feminine so in the recent past you you had a very narrow view of how something the way something was to go or the outcome you were trying to control an outcome of a relationship with your divine masculine and this was um so some of you divine feminines you may have grown up grown up in um you had a very religious background your parents may be very religious or the people you know are very religious or or um some of you felt uh, very pressured by society. So, Because I'm picking up the energy of a divine feminine that felt like, oh, I'm a certain age. I need to be married. I need to have kids. I need to have my career going. I need to have a house. I need to have a car. Like, you needed to have, you had like a checklist of everything that you were supposed to have by a certain age. And you were just focusing on your checklist. Like, you never gave any room for the universe to work its magic. You never, it's like you had blinders on, Right? This is what I want. This is all I see. This is how it's supposed to happen. And there is infinite ways for the universe to bless you with what it is you desire. So you were very tunnel vision in the past about how your relationship with your divine masculine was supposed to be. And this is, this is why you didn't have victory. Because you were under this very, very strong belief that um, you needed to be married. You guys were together for a certain amount of time and you needed to be married now. And life was supposed to go a certain way. And, and you kind of, 
hearing you did. <laughs> you pressured your divine masculine. You made them feel very pressured to fit into this perfect picture of how you wanted your life to be or how you believed it was supposed to be. And these beliefs, they didn't even come from you. They came from society. They came from religion. They came from tradition. They came from these really high ass expectations. Some of you, I know Libras like nice things. <laughs> They have very good taste, they have, and they love nice things, and they love high quality things, right? So you had a, a list of very high expectations that you expected your divine masculine to meet. And this caused you not to not to have victory with them. This this backfired on you. Because you weren't seeing the bigger picture of what could be and how this relationship was supposed to be. What I'm picking up is um, you were placing 3D rules and, um, and trying to, you were trying to make a 5D relationship. You were trying to create something 5D from, with 3D material, right? You weren't doing it the right way. You weren't putting the right ingredients in the pot, right? It was like you were trying to make a sweet cake with salt. Yeah. That's not, that's not how you do it. And it's, and it's not even, it's not even that you said, okay, I'm just going to put salt in this cake or I'm just going to put salt in the pot. Somebody else told you that this is how it's supposed to be. Right? So you said, okay. And you grew up with people around you putting salt in the cake the whole time. So you just thought that that's how the cake was supposed to be. And to your dismay, you didn't like the cake. Your divine masculine didn't like the cake either. Because your lesson from this was um, to be more open, to question your beliefs, question if they're really coming from you. Where are they coming from? Where do they stem from? What's their source? Because they should come from you. Your lesson in this was your happiness. You have to create your happiness for yourself and then your divine masculine will come in. So you need to work on your thought processes on what you believe from the inside. Because you did not have success with your um, divine masculine. This actually repelled your divine masculine. He may have been um, more defensive towards you, maybe even got angry. He would get angry with you. Um, he would be critical of you. Some of you, your lists, divine feminines, I'm all for liking nice things and all for quality over quantity. I'm all for that. But some of you divine feminines, your list was like, it was crazy high. Like your expectations were crazy high. Like some of you, I'm seeing a divine feminine that is expecting their divine masculine to go back to school and be a doctor because you want to be with a doctor, right? And it's like, why don't you go back to school and be a doctor? Listen, I know I may be coming off a bit harsh, you know, but... This is about, this is about truth. I'm sometimes, I can be real fluffy sometimes and sometimes I got to just give you the hard truth, you know, and, and it's all out of love as a divine feminine myself. You know, I know personally that this, this way does not work, right? Having these super high expectations and expecting someone to meet them because you, you should look at it like this. You don't have to, but it would be wise to look at it like if someone had this, if I was with some dude and he had this really long expectation, this high list of Oh, she needs to have long hair. She needs to be this skin color. She needs to have this much money in the bank. Her credit score needs to be this. She needs to be living in a house with two car, a two car garage. You know, she needs to be a double D cup and a tiny little waist. And I would have been like, no, you don't want to be with me. You want to be with your, like your put me together doll. You don't want to be with me, right? So it, it would repel me. If I met somebody like that, I wouldn't want to be with them. Because I'm like, well, you're not trying to be with a real person. You're trying to be with someone that you put together. So uh, good luck with that, bro. See how that works, right? Because very few people are going to match your list 100%. Very, very few people. And, and what I found also is a lot of the times the things that we think we need, we want is not what we need. 
Because you, you may get everything that you want and not be happy, right? Spirit wants you to learn that, learn that. <laughs> what you want is not always what you need. I just did this reading with um, Gemini. They had this reading as well. Uh, similar, it was similar. Because you needed to learn how to let go and be more open-minded, more open-hearted, you know, open your heart to how things could really be and allow spirit to guide you. Your answers for how to deal with this relationship dynamic, they come from inside of you, right? This is, this is a spiritual union. This is a spiritual connection, deeply spiritual. You're a twin flame, right? So you can't deal with a twin flame like a soulmate. You can't deal with a twin flame uh, from a, a 3D point of view, perspective, uh, way of being and doing and thinking, it's not going to work, right? Twin flame unions, um, their relationship dynamic is, is highly based on self-love and freedom. Freedom to be who you are, freedom to express yourself, freedom to be, just be, be yourself. And your person is okay with that because they are free to be themselves. So you, you repelled your divine masculine because your standards were just too high, honey. They were too high. And you didn't even know why your, your standards were so damn high too. They were other people's opinions of what your standards should be for yourself. You may have got this from social media, from the media, from society, right? I am seeing a divine feminine that what keeps up with the Kardashians way too much. You need to be keeping up with yourself. You're too focused on, on 3D and what, what society tells you you should have, right? And that's not even what you need, right? How many of these celebrities are really happy? They may have a whole lot of what they want, but they don't have inner peace. They don't have inner happiness, A lot of them don't even have clarity of thought, like, right? Kanye West is crazy. He, he's cray cray. He cray cray, right? All that money and you're crazy. You're batshit crazy. Why is that? Because not everything that you want is what you need, right? And the lesson was to let go, let go of this, these ideas, these expectations, Stop placing your expectations on other people, right? Create your values. Live from your values for yourself, right? But they're for yourself. Right? That is where your, your cornucopia, right? That is where your transformation will come from, right? That is how you get your wish fulfillment. That is how the universe grants your wishes, because they're your true heart's desires. Because the way you were doing it in the past was, it's not going to work, it's never going to work. And that was the lesson for you to realize. Right? This is a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual union with your divine feminine. Sorry, your divine masculine. Right? This is not um, the bachelor. Right? It's not, it's not that. It's so different. And you needed to allow yourself freedom so that your divine masculine could feel that way as well. As within, so without. If you gave yourself more room, I'm feeling a feminine energy that is so, you're so restricted. You're so restricted by, and you restrict yourself, right? You have this way of thinking that is very, limiting right and it's um it's it's self-deceiving because you think that by having all these these um expectations on your checklist that you're gonna be free that that's the way how your life is supposed to be but it's very it's very very limiting right it doesn't allow you to experience true happiness true abundance in all areas of your life Moving into the future, Divine Feminine. Spirit, 
wants you to focus on yourself. Spirit wants you to go within. Spirit wants you to release this attachment to this way of thinking and this way of being and doing things. Because it's just going to lead to anxiety. You're going to be all up in your head. I'm seeing a divine feminine that is forever checking their phone to see if their divine masculine is texting them. Right? I see a divine feminine turning up the volume on their phone to see if, if they missed the call to make sure that they get it. Because you're just like, you're on it too much. You need to release it. You need to let it go. You're too attached. You're too attached to an outcome. A spirit wants you to get out of your head and get into your heart, right? Your heart has its own mind. Your heart knows how to do this. Your heart knows how to be. Your heart knows how to just love and let love lead, right? Live and let others live. Because the way you're doing it is just going to end. You're just going to end up. You're going to keep going through this cycle of this. All in your head, stress, depression, anxiety, Anxiety is um, uneasiness, um, discomfort from an outcome that you're not sure of, right? So you, you have, you're trying too hard to control the outcome of something and you don't know what it's going to be, so you're stressed out about it. Divine Feminine, you are... Spirit said you're not going to get into union this way. You need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on the, the standards and the values that you have for yourself to go within. Both of these cards, they're all about going within, right? Majority of these cards are about going within. Focus on yourself, right? Stop worrying about your divine masculine because you're just, um, your energy is repelling him. It's making him defensive, it's making him feel pressured. Spirit wants you to detach. You're too attached. You're way too attached. And you're not, and it's out of fear, right? So you're divine. <laughs> Look at this. You see how you, you two are mirroring each other, right? He's showing up um, getting angry and defensive, and it's because of um, fear and doubt. Your standards are so high that your divine masculine does not think that he can meet them, right? It's making him doubt his abilities, doubt his self-worth, right? And you're so attached to this, the outcome of being married, having a two-car home and two and a half kids and, you know, career and, and everything that you were told you should have at a certain age. And it's out of fear, right? So your inner fear is showing, he's showing it on the outside. By being defensive, by being, being critical, you know? By getting angry. And this is from doubt. Because he doesn't think that he can meet your expectations. And you're doing this because you're afraid. Right? You're afraid. Some of you divine feminines, you're afraid that your divine masculine is going to leave. So you want to you believe that you need to tie them down. And divine feminine from a divine feminine to a divine feminine, you do not need to tie anybody to you. They're your divine masculine. They're not is <laughs> you were already together in in the ethers in 5D. Right? You're already one. Right? You can't get any closer than that. A piece of paper is not going to make anybody love you more or any less. A ring on your finger is not going to make anybody stay. Right? Look how many marriages end up in divorce because they weren't, um, they weren't created from the right foundation. Right? Most of them were created from a, from a very high ass expectation list. And it did not work. Because it did not come from who you truly are, from what you truly desire for yourself. Spirit says to tell you, if you want this union, you need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on wanting yourself, loving you, 
right? Focus on uh, getting these things for yourself, being this way with yourself, creating stability and security for yourself. You want to live in a big house? You go get your big house, right? You want to get married? Marry yourself. <laughs> marry yourself. Be so in love with yourself, so committed, so devoted to yourself, right? Go out and buy yourself a ring and put it on your own finger. You're married to yourself, right? Be your first and your first um, best friend. Yes. Be your first true love. Be your own true love. And watch how love shows up for you. Because as within, so without, honey. You love yourself so much, your divine masculine is going to be like, damn. Well, look at you. I want some of that. It's going to pull him towards you. Because you're so, you're loving on yourself so much. You're so focused on yourself. And it's not a selfish, self-centered, I'm all about me, 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 me. It's not that kind of love. It's an unconditional, I accept me, I love me, flaws and all. I may not be perfect, but I love me. I'm going for the things that I want because I love me. I'm creating a good life for myself because I love me. Right? That is a very attractive energy to have. Very attractive. Confidence is attractive. Right? It's the most attractive outfit you could wear. Confidence and self-love. And the beauty of it is that no one can take it off of you. Because it comes from the inside. Okay. Well, that's what I have for you, Libra. Divine Feminine. If this reading resonated with you, that's awesome. If it didn't, I encourage you to click the notification button. I'm sure that Spirit will have a message for you sometime down the line. I also encourage you to take a look at the programs offered in my description box. They are channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. They're created from a Twin Flame for Twin Flames, right? And this will help you with these issues, you know, of um, uh, how you see things. You know, getting clarity of thought, uh, really peeling back the layers so you, you know what you really want. And it comes from who you really are, dealing with issues of anxiety. We offer a mini anxiety program for absolutely free with the purchase of a larger program. Take a look at the programs in my description box. You know, uh, they are here for you. If you are looking for a personal reading, I am here to serve. If you are looking for a personal counseling sessions, this comes along with the programs. You have to purchase the programs because this is this is basically me just giving you clarity, helping you walk through the programs. You know, sometimes we need someone to hold our hand until we can stand on our own. And I've been there, done that. I still do these programs to this day because these programs are, they are lifestyle changes, right? Your life will change. So my daughter just woke up and she's about to bust in here. So I'm going to wrap this up, honey. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.